Today is the National Day of Mourning for the victims and survivors of severe tropical storm Christine. From October 21 to 25, intense rains inundated communities and killed more than 150 individuals. And today, President Bongbong Marcos saw for himself what's left of a village in Batangas that was buried in landslides. The president said there were flood control projects in place na overwhelmed lang and that he is amenable for the Senate to investigate this. Maricel Halili has the big story tonight. This is ground zero in Dalisay, Batangas, a sleepy lakeside down ravaged by landslides that killed at least 20 people. Aside from prayers and mass, he offered the dead. President Bongbo Marcos also laid down some plans to protect the living from future catastrophes. One is a thorough review of the country's calamity response to be led by the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council or NDRRMC. Layunin natin na hindi na maulit ang pagkawala ng buhay dahil sa kalamidad. Totoo na mas matindi ang mga bagyo ngayon. Mas malawak, mas malakas, mas mabilis ang pagbabago. Marcos also visited Laurel, Batangas, where he said he has no issues with the proposal to investigate his government's flood control program. It was Senate President Jesus Codero who said last week the upper chamber will probe the projects during deliberations on the national budget this month. Senator Aimee Marcos also wants a full accounting of the budget given to the flood control program of Bicol which bore the prompt of Christine. But the president also insisted the lack of infrastructure wasn't entirely to blame. Maraming nagsasabi, nababasa ko sa dyaryo, nababasa ko, naririnig ko sa radyo, television, nasa na mga flood control. Nandyan ang mga flood control, na-overwhelm lang. May flood control tayo, hindi kaya. Hindi talaga kaya dahil sa buong kasaysayan ng Pilipinas, wala pang ganito. Ngayon lang natin haharapin ito. PBBM added that intense flooding isn't unique to the Philippines and that other countries are also now experiencing it due to climate change. Dapat uh, maunawaan talaga ng tao, hindi lamang yung budget ko, hindi kung ano yung science, what's the science, follow the science, see what's happening. Tignan ninyo, hindi lamang dito, nakita nyo ba yung nangyari sa Espanya, nakita nyo ba yung mga nangyayari sa iba't ibang lugar, sa states, yung mga nangyayari, ganyan din, sa, dun din sa mga lugar na yun. Eh, ngayon lang nangyari yan. Kaya, uh, kaya gagawin natin, babaguhin natin ang mga design, patitibayan natin yung mga infrastructure, mga flood control, yung mga slow protection, pati yung mga tulay. He cited Typhoon Ondoy back in 2009, which dumped a month's worth of rain in just six hours. Severe tropical storm Christine brought rains double that amount in just five days, according to Marcos. When asked whether he was satisfied with his government's response to Christine and Super Typhoon Leon, Marcos had this to say. I'll tell you the truth. It's never enough. It's never enough. I wish we could do more. It's never enough. But Marcos says his administration is doing the best it can with the resources it has. For now, cash and other aid were provided to victims and survivors, including the 60 million pesos given to Batangas by the office of the president. Construction materials were also given to residents and local government so they can start rebuilding. Christine and Leon together are estimated to have affected more than 2 million families. For News 5, Maricel Halili, We Are One News.